In the Boston Red Sox system, it's all about the position players. Starting at number five, Miguel Blaze, an outfield prospect with four above average tools, was limited by a shoulder issue last season. Sadon Rafael, a lot of Red Sox fans already know about him and his amazing defense in center field. Alex Cora compared it to Johan Rojas with the Philadelphia Phillies, calling it a game changer. And then there's the big three. Boston fans know about a big three. Kyle Teal, the 14th overall pick in last year's draft, shows a really special arm behind the plate, above average hit tool as well. He's already climbed to double A where he played with Roman Anthony, the outfield prospect with plus power, really good swing decisions. That's why they allowed him to climb three levels in 2023. And finally, at number one, Marcelo Meyer, the shortstop prospect, fourth overall pick a few years back. When it's all there, there are four really good tools. He was limited by a shoulder injury himself last season, but when it's all there, he could be the future shortstop at Fenway Park. Well, we're here with Marcelo now. Marcelo, thanks so much for joining us. First, I want to go back to last year. You did, dealt with a shoulder injury. How much did that impact your time? in double-A Portland yeah I mean it was a pretty tough year obviously I, I hurt my shoulder in like early May so I dealt with the shoulder injury up until you know I missed like the last two months of the year but yeah I think it was um it was pretty tough but I got a lot of things out of it learned a lot of things about you know my body how to take care of myself and how has that changed your off-season prep for the season I know coming off that you were rehabbing a little bit down here yeah. but what are you doing differently to kind of put that in the past yeah I mean it was a big off-season you know I was down mostly all off-season working on my shoulder bouncing back and forth between here and home. So just doing everything I can to, you know, get to the spot where I am right now and, you know, where my body feels 100% for spring training. Mm -hmm. And now having seen double-A pitching, now you're going to be able to go back to it healthy. What adjustments are you going to make at the plate having seen those type of arms now? I think there's there's a few adjustments. You know, I think there's adjustments to make every level and, you know, really pitch to pitch. Every pitch is different. So I think it just depends. But, you know, just making my zone a little bit smaller, you know, focusing on, on the heart of the plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a little bit of a brotherhood amongst Red Sox prospects now between you, Kyle Teal, Roman Anthony, Nick York. What yeah. is it like being part of that group and how much do you guys get along? It's awesome. I mean, those guys are, I consider them probably my best friends right now. Not only them, there's a lot of, of great players that we have in the minors that, you know, we all get along. It's a really, you know, big, close group. Funny story, last night, Roman Anthony gave me a buzz cut. <laughs> so, I mean, that's how close we are. I've had long hair my whole career, and I just got a buzz cut right now. And he's the one who cut it last night. So, so yeah, we're, we're super close. We have a good time. Styled by Roman, I guess. Yeah. Right. We're going to go with that. Yeah. All right, you guys played at AA Portland. That's not a far drive from Fenway Park. How much yeah. do you feel like part of Red Sox Nation getting a taste of that? Dude, you're super close. Like you said, you're like an hour and a half from Portland to Boston. So off days, you know, a lot of us are going, going to Boston, watching games. And then it's really the first time you're in that New England territory where everyone has a Boston Red Sox fan. So, you know, you do kind of get to see the difference. You get to see how, you know, passionate the fans are, even at the double level, which is really cool. All right, and you are a California kid, but you have a couple R's in your name. Have you tried your name with a Boston accent yet? Marcelo. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. All right, well, Marcelo, thanks so much for joining yeah, us. Of